Hola a todos. We're walking back to the main square of the Papa. And as I was talking about yesterday's video, it's one of the seven Pueblos Magicos in Jalisco. I've been to several of the, well, a handful of the Pueblos Magicos, I think. Actually, this is the third. So I've been to Mazamitla, uh, to Papa now, and San Sebastián del Oeste. So, and San, San Sebastián del Oeste is the Pueblo Magico. It's really close to Puerto Vallarta. So if you're in Puerto Vallarta or going to Puerto Vallarta, definitely check out San Sebastián del Oeste. And the rest are kind of really close. I've driven through Mascota. I'd like to go back. It's like a three and a half hour drive from Guadalajara, I believe. It's closer to Puerto Vallarta. Um, but I think in the coming weeks and coming several months, I'll be going to different of the Pueblo Magicos in Guadalajara. We're walking up on the main square again. And I'm gonna find some to eat. It's a little early to be eating dinner, but I'm hungry. I took that hike out today to the Cascada. My status. <laughs> I'm hungry. I want to get some food. Then I'll go to the store and get like a snack for later on. There's the, uh, we have the artisanal market. Maybe we'll go in and check that out. Let's go and go in and take a little look at the artisanal market. Let's hope this music isn't copywritten. If it is, I just might lose the non-monetization that I have. So I've been seeing this for sale around this city. I don't know what it is. Maybe somebody could tell me. Rompope. I'm guessing it's like an alcoholic beverage. I don't know. Usually if there's something I don't know, it's usually alcoholic or as meat. <laughs> kind of a smaller artisanal market. I guess they have local products that you can get. <laughs> Eso se hacen de hoja de pino. A mi papá les encantaría. Colección tiene una colección de cestas de pino, hojas de pino. Bonitos, son muy bonitos. Y todos son de acá. Sí, es original de aquí de Zapata. Bonitos, gracias. He's making pine needle baskets. Dad, if you're watching, you would love those. <laughs> I was saying to the lady. But you've given your collection all the way to the museum in Louisiana. So. But maybe we might have to start another collection of pine needle baskets from Tapalpa, from Jalisco. What else we got? We got a paleteria, a little ice cream store. Got the Tapalpa sign with the church in the background. Let's go ahead and go up the church. Take a look at the church. I heard that the church is built out of red brick, as you can see. But it's not that old. It was just from the 1950s. And uh, about the pine needle baskets kind of made me remember, think about, I was reading on Wikipedia and one of the things that Wikipedia said was that the region was somewhat built up from the paper production 
used to be a big producer of paper, wood products, before the Mexican Revolution. And then something happened in the Mexican Revolution with the paper mills, wood factories. And I guess I'm pretty sure, I guess now the main industry is tourism. And kind of walking around the center of town, just looking at the people, it really looks like most of the people are from the city, city folk. And not from Tapapa itself. Let's go take a look at the church. Well, it's been long. It looks like they have a service. There's a wedding going on. Por el camino de la fe y les ayuden al nuevo matrimonio a vivir inquebrantablemente la fidelidad. Por todos los aquí presentes, especialmente por los familiares y amigos de estos esposos, para que participen aquí en la felicidad y sean admitidos en ella la dicha eterna. Dios y Padre nuestro, escucha nuestras oraciones que presentamos por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Ahora para recibir también a tus símbolos. Maybe there's a wedding party we can go el join el later. El pedido que se les entrega es la luz que debe permanecer encendida en sus días de oración y en los momentos difíciles de su vida. Well, we wish them well. We wish them well in their new life together. Felicidades. Actually, a really pretty church. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen like a church made out of red brick buildings before, but that was really cool. It kind of like reminds me of like the Airbnb that I'm staying at, and then like also a lot of the architecture in the region. So let's walk down this way. Actually, let's go down this way. Actually, one of the things I'm curious about was. You'll go to a lot of these Mexican towns, like why in these Mexican towns are like these colors so typical? They have like the red on bottom, like the ochre red, dark red, and then a white on top. So like maybe I was wondering about that, like really typical in Mexican towns, if you've ever seen the movie Coco, uh, about Day of the Dead celebrations, it's in, in the Mexican, it's in the Mexican town there. And then if you go to any like traditional Pueblo Mágico, uh, you'll see the red and you'll see the red and white colors. So I'm sure there has to be some explanation for that. So if you know, put that in the comments. That'd be some deep track knowledge right there. If you know why the deep red, ochre red, I don't even know if it's an ochre red, I'm just using that word. Uh, but if you know why the red and white are like typical traditional colors, uh, put that in the comments. You'll win like triple points with that. So let's go and turn around and maybe walk on some of the back streets, see what else there is around the Palpa. A boutique. It's like in the center of town, at least, there's lots of boutiques, restaurants, hotels. A lot of people come from Guadalajara to visit Tapapa just for the weekend. Just a two hour drive, so definitely worth the trip. If you're living in Guadalajara, visiting Guadalajara, in my estimation, it's definitely worth the trip down at least for a couple days check it out I don't think I could live here kind of a bit small for my, my taste but uh, really nice to check out also mentioned on Wikipedia 
that the population of the Papa is just about 20,000. I think. I need, uh, for me, I need at least a million, I think. I think anything under a million, for me at least, is kind of a small town. Anyway, we're kind of drifting off to the, another area of town, kind of on the back streets. Let's see what else there is. It's kind of a nice thing of visiting Tapalpa. I haven't seen any other gringos here uh, when I've been walking around or my whole time here. I was just uh, talking with some visitors. They were taking some selfies. I asked them where they were from. They're from a small town in Michoacan. So kind of like what I said before, seems like a lot of the visitors are mostly national, mostly Mexican visitors. And it's a shame, I think. You know, I mean, if, if even if you go to Puerto Vallarta, it has a lot of international visitors, a lot of visitors from uh, the US, Canada, um, a lot of visitors go to Guadalajara, international visitors, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think that if you're coming to Mexico, there's over a hundred Pueblos Magicos all over Mexico, and there's bound to be one within just a few hour drive of wherever you're visiting in Mexico. So I think you definitely need to come to at least one of the Pueblos Magicos, maybe, maybe make it a day trip, make it a short weekend trip. But definitely worth the worth the visit. You'll feel like a complete foreigner, and that's great. <laughs> One of the reasons I like living in Guadalajara and Mexico in general is that I get to feel like a foreigner. I get to feel sort of I get that foreigner aspect, that foreigner vibe. Let's go up here. Check this out. <clears throat> Everybody eating their elote. Corn on the cob. There's some nice restaurants up there. And this is cool. They don't have the papel picada that you'll see in a lot of places. They have these ribbons. Very typical traditional Mexican design. The balcony, the wood balcony. It's your farmacia. Yeah, the cafe. I'm gonna do a video here probably once I get back to Guadalajara about how to negotiate a farmacia. Kind of the differences between the pharmacies in the United States and the pharmacies here in Mexico. Let's take a walk down this street and see if there's anything down here. Barber shop. I might do a video about barber shop experiences. It seems like they're popular on YouTube. But uh, I definitely prefer the barber shop experience here than I, that I do in the U.S. The U.S. is probably paying, oh, I don't know, like 35, 40 bucks for a haircut. And it didn't include a shave, didn't include the razor on the back, didn't include the massage. But here in Mexico, you go to a barber. Uh, for probably $15 or so, you get the whole experience. It's great. Not as cheap as other places in the world, but definitely very affordable. And if you just wanted a straight haircut, you could probably find some place for three, four dollars. Viva los precios mexicanos, along <laughs> with Mexican prices. It's kind of cheap to say, but I do enjoy the prices in Mexico. And it's one of the reasons that uh, a lot of people come to Mexico. I don't think it should be the reason, the reason that you come to Mexico, but uh, it definitely doesn't hurt. That's for sure.
All right, looks like we've entered the sleepy part of town. But yeah, if anybody knows why it's the red and white, the traditional colors, let me know. Okay, so I kind of see a steeple off in the background. It's gone down behind the roof now. But I think we're gonna walk down there, check it out. And I think that'll be the tour of Tapalpa. Now I'm gonna go get something to eat. Bye, puppies. Guadalupe and the house up there as I was driving to the waterfall this afternoon I saw a lot of houses made out of this mud material it looks like so in town it seems like a lot of the houses are made out of this I guess stone or I don't know what material it is but painted white and red once you get out of town and then this house Looks like a lot of the houses are made from kind of a mud brick, it looks like. Kind of a mud brick. I guess that's easy to produce from the region. So let's go down here, see if this is another church. Or a steeple, what to see what the steeple is connected to. If it's anything worth visiting. El Jardín de Filippo with two P's. Cosmetic store, your cream shampoos. Really pretty town, it's really well kept. This is the steeple I was talking about. Let's go see what that is. Also seems like ranching or rodeo is a big activity in this part of the state. At a fruit and vegetable store. It looks like we're off of the main drag now, kind of in more of the less touristy part of the town. Un Siebert. <laughs> I was talking with, I think it was Aldo, about the Sieberts. Aldo, if you're watching, it's a Siebert. They've now all but, but gone extinct. It used to be a place where you could go and use the internet, like an internet cafe is basically what it is. That's a church, it looks like it's closed. Pretty steeple though. All right, so the food has arrived. And anybody that says you can't be vegetarian in, in Mexico is lying. So I got enchiladas. Uh, de queso, cheese enchiladas, and I got potato sopes. A little restaurant here off the main square, getting some antojitos mexicanos. So that's gonna be it for today in Tapalpa. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Adios.